This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. If you're anything at all like me, you like your drawings to be set out accurately. Call me a bit of a freak, but there's nothing that I like better than seeing a set of documentation where the sheets are all presented and views are in the same place. This is exactly what the guide grids are for. From the view menu, select guide grid. Give it a relevant name. In this example project, we've already set up a north, a west and a south. So names for the guide grid could follow the same naming convention. So let's call this one north. As you can see, we have this blue grid overlaid on our sheet. What I want to do now is move the grid so it becomes a reference point. In moving the grid, I can select an intersection of two points on that grid and place it accurately on the end point of my title sheet. I can change the guide spacing if I want to, but in this instance, I'm going to keep it at 25 millimeters. I'm going to scroll out and actually select the grid again. Here I can use grips to stretch it so that it then becomes a relevant part of my documentation. Let's stretch it a little bit more. And now what I want to do is move my viewport. So here I've got level 1 HVAC North. And I'm going to move this viewport, which I've selected. And I'm going to move it by selecting the intersection of the grids. So I've got the intersection of grid 1 and grid C, and I'm going to move that to a suitable place, and let's call it this intersection on my guide grid. Stretching the guide grid down a little bit more. This now becomes my set out point for my north guide grid. So, I can now apply this guide grid to all my other north title sheets. So, I can do this individually, but if we had a large project, this may not be the most efficient way of working. So, what can we do about that? I'm just going to undo my last action. And put that to none. And I'm going to browse in my project browser to my sheet list. Here in my sheet list, you can see that I have a field called Guide Grid. And here we have all the sheets. What we can do now is apply a filter to my sheet list. So we'll filter by the sheet name. So the sheet name contains the word North. Now I can go and check and apply the guide grid to all the other north views. Let's just undo that one more step and look at sorting and grouping. If I sort by guide grid and don't itemize every instance, now I've got two fields. I've got one sheet number and one row where the sheet number and sheet name aren't displayed. Here, I'm able to change one field to north and go back to sorting and grouping, make sure I itemize every instance, click on OK, and now all three sheets now have the north guide grid. If I open each of those views in turn, 
you can see that that north guide grid has been applied. I can now browse to my relevant view, drag it onto the sheet, and then move that viewport from my grid intersection to the intersection that I'd chosen for my guide grid. Do that again for level two north, go and find my view, drag it to the sheet, place it, then move by grid intersection into the correct location on the guide grid. This I would repeat for all the views and all the sheets in my project, and it means that my sheet set is consistent.